Hey, 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 hey. Mr. Esky, how you doing, man? Well, long time no see, huh? Oh, Amaral, how you doing, man? Oh, it's good to see you. It's good to see you. I apologize for not being around. I got pretty sick and uh, some personal stuff came up and... Yeah, I hope you're well again. Yeah, I'm I'm doing good. Uh, things are things things are things are looking up. Um, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of me, <laughs> a lot more. Uh, I'm doing day streams and night streams now, so there's I'm I'm everywhere. I'll be back again tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be back and again and again and again and again and again and again because that's the way it is. How are you? I hope you're doing well, uh, Mr. Esky. Yeah, very long. <laughs> Good morning, my friend. How are you? How's um? How was your sleep? I hope I didn't wake you too much while uh, you know, you had me on luck and all that. That's some hot ass tea. Some hot ass tea. Oh, <laughs> oh man, man. So tonight we're gonna finish up uh, Discworld. Um. I'm pretty sure I I know how to... I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what I need to do. Um, I know I need to get the the bird back. Um, uh, there's a few other things. I, I can't remember what... We got the sword, I think. Uh, uh, doing well, slept well, no worries. I actually had you muted and fell asleep to needy. <laughs> nice. Oh, wait, was she uh, streaming? Was she streaming as well? Oh, why didn't she say something? I didn't know she was um, streaming. Shit. Uh, got to drop into a lurk now because me and Rosie are going to watch a morning movie. There you go. All right. Well, I hope it's a good one. I hope you guys have fun. And uh, I mean, not too much fun. All right. You got to keep it at least at 80% fun. Never increase it to 100%. All right. If you increase fun to 100%, things get crazy, all right? <laughs> it's a bad one. <laughs> oh, Fast and Furious 8. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I stopped watching Fast and the Furious a long time ago, so you'll have to let me know. <laughs> let me know. Let me know how it was. <laughs> uh, my condolences and or I, I'm... Yeah. <laughs> She said she'd be 30 minutes. Oh. You here for 30 minutes? All right. Well, I'll try to entertain you for like another 30 minutes, all right? Hey, it can't be that bad, right? <laughs> Fast or Furious? Like it. <laughs> uh, I saw your video, but I could not join live the last few times. But this week I'm on vacation, so I can watch you. All right, Meryl. Well, that's not a problem, man. I, uh, I'll be here. I'll be here quite frequently. Uh, in fact, very frequently. Um, this is practically it f for me. <laughs> this is me. I'm here forever now. Stuck. Rain, hail, or shine, baby. I mean, within reason. Like, if I got, like, a stuffy nose or something, or, like, I can't speak, I might not stream. Uh, if I, like, um, have my hands chopped off or something like that, I might not stream. Um, and if I do, like brain surgery, heart surgery, and um, have a kidney removed, I might stream. That one, that doesn't seem too bad. But there you go. <laughs> uh, Chris, well, if it isn't the hottest, funniest goofball on Twitch, I guess I'll stick around. All right. <laughs> if you want to. You don't have to, though. You know, I I know I can't be, like, the, the, the hottest, funniest, uh, and funniest goofball, but... I'll try to be, I'll try to be, I'll try to live up to those expectations. Let me just do one of these real quick. How's that? <laughs> How's this? <laughs> Stuffy nose over brain surgery. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's, you know, you know, I mean, you can have a stuffy nose, but you, sometimes you just, you just don't want to get out of bed. But, you know, you have like brain surgery. That's like a minor surgery, you know, that's like, that's nothing, you know, like, you know, get your skull cracked open and a drill in there and shit. Ah, it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Walk that shit off, you know? Perfectly fine. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. Come on. <laughs> What's some brain surgery between, between friends, am I right? 
Oh, God. Now, if I had two kidneys removed, I might not stream. But since I'm only getting one uh, kidney removed, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Just walk that shit off. Uh, started working. Uh, I need this today. Well, I'm here, man. I'm here till four in the morning, baby. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> Tea don't cool down too quickly. And then when it does cool down, it cools down too damn quickly, you know? <laughs> it's like, it's like a... Uh, oh, well, whatever. Uh, but, hey, I'm glad you're all here. Um, like I said, I keep reiterating this. I am going to be around quite frequently. Um, we'll be finishing up Discworld tonight. I, I'm 100% convinced of it. I don't, I don't even think we'll, it'll take us like an hour or two, if even that. Um, I'm pretty sure I can, you know, blitz right through it, but... Uh, after that, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to play Skyrim or Return to Orcs Must Die. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I'm still feeling Orcs Must Die. That was pretty. That was a lot of fun. I had a good time. Still still unsure of how the hell that guy got um, a, a million or billion points or whatever the hell, but <laughs> whatever. Um, I guess my second kidney? Well, you know, it's good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay. You know, it's, 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 it's kidneying along, you know? It could be worse. If you get your kidney removed in, like, some hotel in Vegas somewhere, that's probably not a streaming day. Just saying. Go to a hospital and get your kidney removed? That's fine. Go to Vegas and then get your kidney removed? And... You said one gets removed? Oh, me? No. <laughs> no. I'm, I, none of my... Org my organs are fine. My organs are beautiful, I think. I hope. God, I hope so. If they're not, I'll let you guys know. Uh, brain surgery. Oh, God. Kidneys. <laughs> Fucking kidneys. Anyway, shall we go play Discworld? I'm thinking we should. Um, I can kind of remember what we were doing last time. I think we, I think we just got the sword fixed. And there was a few other things we did as well. I know we need to get, like, a, a tattoo, which I've, I c kind of remember how to do. I guess we all hope that our organs are at least alive. <laughs> I, I hope so. Uh, you know, that's, what, that's, that's, the, that's the goal, right? Like, I don't want to have to go to, like, the doctors and be like, oh, I, just, oh, I got, like, um, I don't know, I just uh, kind of hurt in my uh, body area. And the doctor will be like, nah, well, let's just run a quick, let's, let's run some tests real quick. And then I'll be like, all right. And then he'll be like, hang on a sec. Let me just, uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, it turns out your, uh, your, uh, uh, liver's shut down completely. That's dead. Uh, I checked for a pulse on your liver, but it turns out, no, it's dead. Hang on a sec. Let me just, uh, let me check your, uh, kid. Uh, not that one's fucked. Let me check the other one. Okay. Yep. Oh. Uh, Okay, it just died now. Okay, well, look on the bright side. At least you got both your lungs. Uh, <laughs> spoke too soon. Uh, you've got one lung left, and but thank God your heart's still beating, you know? Sir? Hello? Oh, fuck, he's dead. <laughs> you know? That's, you know, that's the way I look at it, right? You know? The, the aim, the goal is to go to a doctor and then, you know, have him, like, you know, put, like, a stethoscope on your, like, testicles or whatever and then him be like yep you're alive you know that's the <laughs> you're alive you know you're alive anyway <laughs> let's play fucking discworld i'm get look i'm already off track i haven't even started the game yet holy crap classic like and move uh alt enter hello game <laughs> hello it, why is the game quiet? Sure. <laughs> Not a problem. Uh, was it F7? Does anybody remember the buttons for the game? F7? F8. F6. F5. That's save. F... Okay, load. Okay, where were we at? <laughs> um, 
let's see. Uh, we got the sword. What the hell just happened? Uh, Footbot? 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 What did Footbot do? Footbot? Oh, Footbot? Oh, Footbot resubscribed! Oh shit, man! Hey, thank you very much! If- if you're here. <laughs> oh, there you are! <laughs> okay! Thank you for the resubscription, my friend. That- that- it helps, uh, way more than you think it does. Okay? Uh, that I- you have to trust me on that one. So, but thank you, man. That- I truly appreciate that. I'm sure I don't really need to explain why, but... Thank you very much. It really does warm my heart. And welcome back. <laughs> How's the 2am doing? <laughs> oh shit, I am so sorry, man. But hey, look on the bright side. At least you got the day streams to look forward to now, right? Oh, it's only 1am right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me know when it's 2am, and then I'll ask you the same question. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, but have you played this game before? No, nah, no, nah, never, not once, ever. <laughs> you know what, though? Do you know what I, I know what I need to do with this snake? I was thinking about it last night, and I remembered there's one more step I have to do with the snake. I put the starch on it. And now I can't remember what I have to do with the snake. <laughs> this goes in here, right? Okay. Um... There's something else I have to do to the snake. The magic markings on the magically stiffened snake trick. Um, do I put fertilizer on it? Yes. The old magic markings on the magically stiffened, extremely long snake trick. There. That I need. It's even got a knob on the end. <laughs> oh, good morning, Jackie. How, how, how is everything? See, it's funny. <laughs> I was streaming to those who were going to sleep, and now I stream to those who are now awake. <laughs> I never left, baby. I'm still going. Still going. Ugh. I'm on my seventh cup of coffee, man. <laughs> you know? I need to exchange this for the uh, broom handle. Why I need to exchange it for the broom handle? I don't quite remember. It's weird how this is working. I, it's like, I don't quite remember the puzzles, but I kind of remember the answers, if that makes sense, you know? Ugh. You're so tired? Aw, oh, man. Uh, the tired club. That's what Chris is referring to. Ugh. Eh, Foodbot, what did you get up to, though, after the stream? <laughs> Where did, did you go to sleep, or are you awake? Like, did you go and do stuff? Did you, like, learn how to play the guitar or anything like that? <laughs> I don't fucking know what I'm saying. That doesn't... Oh, wait. There we go. You know what? Looking back on this game, some of the puzzles are, like, really weird. And some of the music cues aren't going off. It's meant to be doing that, like, ding 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 sound. But it's not doing it. It's just not doing it. And now I'm angry. So furious. Am I? Uh... What else do I need to do? Oh, I know what we need to do. There is... No. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Every time. Uh, I know where the guy's bird is. So we can go in and get the bird at least. It's at the edge of the world. Uh, it did take a mid-afternoon nap. Now I'm programming. You're program- Oh, I forgot about this. <laughs> ah, now don't tell me. It's purple and has 100 eyes. Am I close? It's weird. Some it- Oh, yeah. Hey, who turned out the lights? In every man's dream. You're working on a Twitch oh. bot? Oh. This is nice and warm and soft out here. Really? Nice. That's way more programming than programming than I can do. Place. No, no, forget that last statement. How do I get to 
タイレアうんクラクルクラクルクラクルブズッと Hey, that's cheating! What? That's cheating! You can't do that! Put that rotten thing away! It's not cheating, it's just enriching the storyline. Well, I think these guys appear in the books. It's in the rules. It isn't. Yeah, I'm sure it is. You can be quiet too, Mr. Handbank Face. And if you try to swap dice on me one more time, I shall do to your black monks what the Prophet Dundas did to the tribe of the Extra Lights with both thumbs. Uh -oh. <laughs> Excuse me, but what is that? What? There, the little pointy headed thing. You've got a little piece hidden down your cleavage. <laughs> you know what's funny? Me, I wonder how that got there. As a kid, I didn't understand this until I got a little bit older. Yeah. yeah. I haven't had any fun with that one yet. Wait. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh, just get on with the game. I never understood this whole point. Oh, this, like, that weird moment in the game. I never really understood that. Uh, okay, so the bird is here. We have to use the whistle. No. Some of the sound effects aren't here. I wonder why. Uh, how do we get the bird down? Oh, you know what? I remember. Hang on. Let me put that back on Rinswind. Oh. Maybe I don't. Oh no, I remember. <laughs> I thought it was a coconut. It's not a coconut. It's a dynamite stick. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> As you do. Get a bird down, you know, just blow it up with some dynamite. A perfect logic. Perfect logic. Oh, that's what we needed. It was... Uh, this. There we go. That's what I needed it for. Oh, the friggin' whistle! That's right! Okay, we got the bird. We lost the whistle. And the guy wants his whistle back. I remember what we have to do. I thought it was, a, I thought it was just like a memory I made up in my mind, but... It's not. I need to, like, scale the side of the, the disc. And to do that, which I must admit, took me a long time to figure out as a kid. Because I never thought you'd ever have to come back to this place, right? There's, like, a little... It's it's up in the, uh... Uh, the... The... Uh, the, uh, the, 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 like, the Arch Wizard's ha uh, headquarters. You gotta like go and get his hat, and then inside his hat is like, you know how like, um, Arch Chancellor, that's it. Here it is. You take his hat, and then you inspect the hat. This hat is certainly more impressive than mine. Hey, there's something inside. Right? And it's a rabbit, okay? So I thought as a kid, oh, it's just, you might need to use that rabbit for something, right? Right? You use a rabbit, like, that's. Okay, sure. What do you use the rabbit for? You don't. You don't use the rabbit for anything. The rabbit is... I don't even know why it's there, to be honest with you, but it's there. What you need to do is take... Again, imagine imagine a kid figuring this out. I mean, I had help, but, you know. Okay, now we go back to the city gate. See what I mean? It's like all the all the ants is just kind of like they they're just coming back, you know? They're just slowly coming back. 
it's pretty good though. It's actually good to be good at a video game. <laughs> actually though, in all fairness though, you got to admit, I did pretty good at um Orcs must die today. Right? No? It's this, see? There's supposed to be sound effects here. I don't know why there's no sound effects. There you go. I did my own sound effects. All right. Down there's the there's the bunny. <laughs> He's part of the rope. And there's another one. Hello. Nice day for you. Yes. Nice day for what? For so, so you mean I'm destined to fail after all? You're here to collect my soul, thus ending the quest and nice. demonstrating the futility of all humans. Oh. So are you working today, Jackie? No. I'm just having a break. And how's the uh, how's the uh, vacation going, Amaral? Where are you? Sorry. If you don't mind me asking, are you uh, like in like the Caribbean somewhere, like sitting on a beach, sipping margaritas, and um, hanging with all the Sydney readers, that kind of thing? Finishing off Discord, starting Discord too, maybe. I would love to, but I don't have it yet. I gotta download it. It's like I got, I gotta get it again. You know what I mean? I have to go get it. Apparently, it can be quite a bitch to get started. So, but I will be moving on to Discord too, at some point. There's a few games I have to finish, like Zack McCracken. I gotta finish up Zack McCracken, but I'll, I'll do that. On like the the monkey Monday which is well I guess it's now today but next week is Zach McCracken and then after that we could try Discworld too um, yeah oh, there it is okay now we got the Rincewind we got his stupid little whistle back anyway uh, GB's how you doing man <laughs> how you doing again it's weird <laughs> Uh, we're at home. My partner said that it was way too stressful last year to go somewhere due to COVID. So we're just having some nice days at home. Go out and stuff to eat. That's actually, you know what? Sometimes that's the best. You know what I mean? Like it in America, I think it's called like a staycation. People just stay at home and relax. That's their vacation. They just chill at home. And you, sometimes you got to admit that's fun. It's just fun to relax at your own house. You know, just like kick your feet up, watch like every episode of like Sex in the City or whatever. Um, you know, do 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 whatever it is people do on vacations. Um, you know, <laughs> that's what I do. Sometimes I just like put sand in my bathtub and then just fill it up with water and just pretend I'm at the beach. I put a lot of salt in the water as well, so it gets like the the real feel of being at a beach. You know, and then I put on like wave sound effects and. Um, seagulls and um stuff like that and then what i really like to imagine is sometimes i get out of the the bathtub right which is the the beach for this thing i get out i put a towel around on you know um i got my little my little shorts on and stuff and then i walk out into the out into the the hallway and then i have my wife dressed up as a burglar who, who tries to like rob me uh for like my uh polaroid camera and my um uh, you know those little fanny packs or bum bags or whatever the fuck they're called. You know what I'm talking. You know what tour tourists wear them, right? Like remember in the like the 80s or whatever or the 90s, those little things. And then she like steals that from me, but and then runs away. I get like the whole experience of being on vacation. It's great, you know. It's great. <laughs> it's really good, you know. To hell with staycations. Oh shit. Oh, because everyone's been on a staycation, right? Okay, Cushing. I I. Hi, by the way. Where would you like to go, Cushing? If you could go anywhere in the world. Actually, I extend this question to everybody. And I want you to be honest. And no judging, okay? If someone wants to go to, like, the park down the street and just sit under a tree for, like, the next three weeks, that's perfectly fine as well. But where would you like to go on a dream vacation? Like, if someone just said, I'm paying for everything. You could go anywhere in the world do anything you want but it has to be one spot like you can't just be like i'm going to europe and then travel like to germany and then russia and fucking china and all over the world no it has to be one place 
One place. Where would you like to go? One place. You know? I advanced my colony in oxygen not included, however, the sound of the waves is included. <laughs> you know what? I, I played a little bit of oxygen not included offline. I had a good time, and they, they added in like, uh, 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 some sort of new expansion pack or something, didn't they? Some free update? It looked pretty good, but I don't know. I, I'm really shitty at the game. I still couldn't get very far, even off stream, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, Florida or the Caribbean? Caribbean or Caribbean, depending on how you want to pronounce that. Ooh. I don't know much about uh, either one of those places. Um, the Caribbean sounds like uh, like a lot more fun. It seems like it could be fun. You know what I mean? Like that kind of feels like. If you're thinking of like a tourist destination, that's the kind of place you think about, right? A tourist destination. Florida just seems like you're going to visit family, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I don't know, Florida, yeah. That, what would you like to do in Florida? Is there anything in particular you'd like to do? Or just visit Florida? Uh, Clay does not make easy games. I am still failing in Don't Starve. Yeah, I know. I played Don't Starve when it first came out. And I, I'm, I, I still can't figure it out. <laughs> I still can't figure it out. Um, you know what? I just remembered something, and I don't know how to do it. The, the, it, it just came to me. It's this. That doesn't work. Okay, yes. If you love dragons. Okay, this took me forever Lady to figure out, right? Dragon this sanctuary. unlocks a new spot in the game, and this is the only way to get it. See? Now it's unlocked. That's a new location, right? And then this. We need to clean this, but I, I can't remember how. Uh, it's, there's an item I need, and I maybe I have it already. No. I remember. It says like um, jackass or something like that. It, it's it's um, that's how you get the donkey's tail. It, it's like a license plate there. So we guys, when you get, did you get the number on that donkey cart? That's how you get it. Uh, I gotta go. Have meetings. Have a good stream. Maybe I'll be back later. Hey Jackie, have a great day. All right. At least try to. You know. Uh, if you if you come back, I'll see you later. If you don't come back. Take care of yourself, okay? Have a good day. Be safe. Uh, don't take any crap from anyone. If anyone gives you any shit, uh, just bust out fucking A and fucking B on their face, all right? And if any, if you get arrested, just tell them I told you to do so. You'll get a free pass. I promise. <laughs> I promise. No, but don't, don't, don't punch anyone, please. I have a feeling you've got like a mean right hook. Just a feeling. I remember more stuff I need to get, by the way. Hmm. I know I can take this, by the way. I just I, I I don't remember what it's used for. This isn't black paint, it's ash. I wonder where that mason went. <laughs> Cause he got he got cooked to a crisp. Uh we can take it off with the spatula, right? Do I have that? Oh I don't. Where's the spatula? Is this a moustache? Oh, that's leeches. Blech. Oh, where's the spatula? Weird. You probably go to Japan? Oh, sorry, what? Did I miss something? Oh, I, I would go to a city in Japan. I don't know which one right now. Uh, Japan seems like a really nice place to visit, yeah. They, they have, like, a lot of, um, uh, like, really nice, uh, scenic... 
You know what I'd like to go and see? I, I have to see it at least once in my life. Is um, what's the mountain called? Fu <clears throat> Mount Fuji. They have a lot of beautiful wilderness around there. That looks like it could be quite nice. Something around there. I just like to see Mount Fuji. I think that'd be really nice. Um, I don't know if there's any place in Japan in particular I'd like to go to, but um, that doesn't. Oops. But I think it would be quite nice to go to Japan. I don't know. Again, like Amaral said, I, I don't know where I'd go, but somewhere. Probably not somewhere too crowded. It looks like it's way too crowded in Japan. Like it, like too much hustle and bustle. I, I think I'd prefer like a more of a like a quiet life. You know, like go and um. Do I need this again? I don't remember if I need this, but I'm taking it with me. Um, I'd like to go somewhere more quiet, like a like rural Japan. That could be nice. I think. I hope. Has anybody been to Japan? Uh, probably go to Japan as well. It's tasty sushi. <clears throat> um, there's a place near us that is authentic Japanese sushi. Run by people who only speak Japanese. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Except for the one time I got this one. It's like, I think it's like an Americanized sushi roll. Uh, it's got like um, avocado in it. And I'm allergic to avocado, and I said no avocado, and I got avocado anyways, but I didn't realize it was avocado. And I just, because it was the first time I ever ate sushi, and it, I got <laughs> sick. That's how you go though, right? That's how she goes. Sometimes she goes, sometimes she don't. Um, 2020 was more than enough time stuck in the house. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, pen is extremely expensive, but well worth it. You lived in Japan, Cushing? Oh, shit! Do you, I mean, I was gonna say, do you speak some Japanese? But obviously you must, right? Unless maybe you don't. Maybe a lot of people actually just can speak English as well. What's it like in, in, in uh, Japan? Aside, aside from the um, expense. Is there any anywhere in particular in Japan you'd recommend us all go? Uh... There's an item I need, but I don't know where it is. So I'm trying to think of where it is. It's not in the barn. It's not in the park. It's not here. It might be in the inn. It doesn't, I don't feel like it is. I really don't feel like it is. It's not here, but part of the item I need is here. This. I gotta make soapy water. That's, that's part of it. I'm looking for a brush. I don't know where that is. So I need a brush. Um, a little. Oh, the thing with avocados is unfortunate. Yeah, but it, it happens, man. It's not the first time. Uh, where I used to work, um, uh, it was there was a lot of cooking, and avocados is like one of the biggest sellers. People will freak the fuck. It's Californians, I think. I think it's just Californians that do it, but. They freak the fuck out if you don't have avocado. If, like, I, I'm, 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 if we, there's a salad we had, and it was, there's so much shit on that fucking salad, it's not funny. It came with lettuce, tomatoes, um, lettuce, tomatoes, blue cheese, crumbles, egg, uh, diced up turkey, diced up bacon, croutons, and avocado. Right? Yeah. And... It, um, if you didn't put the avocado on that, people wouldn't buy it. It was just like a quarter of an avocado, and if, if people didn't have it, they'd freak out. They wouldn't buy it. It's incredible. 
Anyway, let's give this guy's this back to this guy. His bird. Uh, Polly. would a sponge or cloth Polly, not do it? To... No, yeah, it has to. It's like a little scrub brush, is what it is. I, I, I can, I, I can remember it. You dip it in the, into the, the pot, and then it gets, uh, it turns into a scrubby thing. Unfortunately, avocado is awesome. Yeah, I knew a guy who I used to work with. He as well was allergic to avocado, but he'd just fucking eat it. <laughs> and he's just as allergic as I am. Like, it's it's sort of like eating a really hot chili or something. And like my lips uh, burn. Like I've, like I've, I've, I've eaten like a really hot like jalapeno or fucking ghost pepper. My throat burns and uh, my tongue and, but in the inside goes numb as well. So it's like a weird numb pain. And uh, yeah, it's like really weird, but he would eat it a lot. It, it's funny though because I said it's like eating a really hot chili, like a ghost pepper. But I've eaten ghost pepper, like Carolina Reaper ghost peppers and shit, right? That burns less than the avocado eating an avocado does, which is just weird, right? Just fucking weird. You know what else does that to me as well? Pears. Pears do it to me as well, but to a lesser extent. I can eat a pear just fine, but it still gets that weird feeling. Strange. How can I repay you? Just tell me how to get a tattoo. Go to the barber shop, of course. This sounds so bad. Yeah, it, it is. Like, oh, that's right. I was. The part of my story was that uh, we used to cut a lot of avocados. So on the cutting board would still be avocado, or on the knives or whatever. So anytime I'd eat, make myself food, right? It'd still have like, like a little bit of avocado on the knife or whatever or whatever, and or or the 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 most annoying thing that the employees would do was it is it's it's a thing called it's if you work in any health food industry i mean like a restaurant industry you know exactly what i'm talking about it's called cross contamination they tell you not to do it because for someone like myself who is allergic to an item you don't want those like two items mixing together but the entire staff would take the avocados and drop them into like the lettuce bucket so they just sit there in the lettuce so sometimes I'd go and like grab some lettuce for my sandwich and put it on my sandwich and it would still have avocado on it and then I'd eat my sandwich and be like, fuck, you know? Oh my god, I'm dying. Thankfully it's not bad, you know? It's not, it's not bad. Uh, where the hell is this friggin' brush? Maybe it is here. Okay. Let's open this gate. Is anybody here allergic to anything? <clears throat> oh, that's right. We have to we have to knock on the door first. And then wait. I'm allergic to cinnamon. Really? What is is it just like my avocado or is it worse? Pollen stuff in the spring, yeah. <laughs> Fucking pollen, man. It's still bad around here. I'm. I, I actually got some uh, allergy medication, so I think it's. I think it's. I think it's better now, more or less. I need this leash, and I need this nail, which then leads to. I need to take a photo. Maybe that's where it is. Maybe I need to. There's a photo I need to take of like a sheep or something. Yes, I won that at last year's Swamp Dragon Breeders Show. Yeah, it's for this. I need to steal this. He just up and exploded with excitement at the time. I'm allergic to house dust, cats, and grass pollen. I knew someone like that. She was like really, really allergic to um um. I mean, who isn't to an extent, right? Like, but like a uh. uh mold and 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 dust like uh, in houses and she couldn't live in uh older houses because they tended to have um the most like uh dust and and stuff like that so 
she just couldn't live in those houses. And you'd think, eh, you know, it's not so bad. But apparently she used to break out, like, really badly. It was it was crazy to see her do that. Like, break out. Like, sometimes she'd, like, come into work and then be like, hey, check this out. And then, like, lift up her arm or whatever. And she had, like, this huge rash. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then she's like, yeah, that's just... I, I was I was house sitting and that's that's they that, that's it. <laughs> She'd make like a great like you know how like people like try to figure out like if you've got mold in your house or something like that, and they like punch holes in the wall or like scan it. She'd be fantastic at doing that as a job. Just walk into your house and be like, hang on one second. Yeah, I've got a rash. You've got some really bad mold and bad high levels of dust and shit in here. <laughs> yeah, you need to fix that. Pretty much like that. Uh. Having minute amounts of cinnamon won't kill me or close up my throat. But if I tried that cinnamon challenge that was popular- Oh my god, yeah, the cinnamon challenge. Fucking hell. Uh, I'd probably die. Isn't, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't cinnamon... High levels of cinnamon, even in a regular person. Isn't high levels of cinnamon, isn't that actually toxic to people? People can actually die from that, right? Like, high levels of cinnamon, right? Or am I crazy? What am I thinking of? I think, I think, I'm, I think I'm thinking of apple seeds. Isn't it like there's cyanide in apple seeds, right? Like, really tiny amounts, right? I'm getting distracted now. Um, it sort of extends to unknown food. Yeah. Uh, peanut butter and chocolate is awful. Are you allergic to that, or just... No. You just don't like it. I don't think you consume that much cinnamon. The cinnamon challenge. Did you guys ever know that that was actually really bad for you? <laughs> I didn't know that. Apparently, it, it was really bad for people. Uh, but it turns out, that's not where I had to go. Uh, there is another place I need to go, but I, I just don't remember where it was. It's a brush. I don't know where I'm supposed to get that. Uh, I don't think it's in the Unseen University. It could be in the palace. It might be in the palace. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you kidding me? Clear off, you. Every time you come around, you start true. Me. Oh, yeah. We... Whoops. <laughs> I think Clear we have to give him the leeches. I hope... I hope this is right. That doesn't... What is it now? We did this already. Don't let well, it's about this leecho suction thing. Are you gonna pay the balance you owe or what? Oh, we gave him the bag what last time. That's right. I don't like Reese's peanut what butter cups. Actually, I don't like them either. Did I think I've told this story before. I've told you guys the story about the homeless guy and the you peanut butter, right? Who's heard that story? You have I- I have told this story, right? Don't listen. It's a lie, just like all the other times. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, thanks, pal. Uh, no offense. No. No, none taken. Have not heard that story so far? You guys want to hear it? Oh. <clears throat> um... You can die from eating too much oh, nutmeg seeds. Why is it what uh what can kill you from a nutmeg? Oh yeah. Is this story yeah. about when you lost your pants? No. <laughs> no, not that one. No, no. This one <laughs> No Jeebies. That's that's a different homeless person and peanut butter story. That's that's a different one. That one I can't tell the kids, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. Okay, so I guess I haven't told this story. There it is. That's the brush I needed. Right there. That's the one. I got it, Amaral. Where's that? There we go. The soapy brush. Actually, let me check in here before I leave. No, okay. Okay, so this is the story. For those of you who have heard this story before, feel free to, you know, put on like, um... I don't know. The Doom soundtrack, you know, Doom 2016. Feel free to put that one on if you like. Um, 
So, here's the story. <clears throat> um, when I when I first came to America, I used to work construction with my father-in-law, and um, we were working in this one job, right? Uh, it was in like an office building, and we had the entire building to ourselves, right? Like it was like an upstairs and a downstairs. We had the entire upstairs to ourselves, right? Because we were fixing the office, right? So, uh, basically, what happened was is we were doing um, uh, we were doing plastering. So I would I was cleaning all the utensils and stuff like that just to like make sure they're like, you know, clean and stuff, and. Um, There, there was like a an office, like an office uh, kitchen area. Saw ass. Saw ass. That's what it was. Saw ass. Okay, no problem. Uh, now we know. Now we can do the next part of this puzzle. Um, so there's like a little office. Like if anyone's been in an office or seen an office show, they've always got like these tiny little kitchens, you know, where you can put your food and get your tea or whatever the fuck you're going to do. That's where we were using, we were using the sink in there to like clean out all of our stuff. And um, it was on like, I think it was like the third week or something we were there, right? And uh, I go into this, um, uh, did I get the knife? Oh yeah. Um, well, I went into this, uh, into the, into the, that uh, coffee room or whatever you want to call it. And uh, there was a guy in there and he was in there. And, like, he was in the, in this kitchen area, this random dude, and he was just making himself, like, a peanut butter sandwich, right? And I had no fucking clue who the hell this guy was, right? Nobody should have been in there. We were in a locked office, right? One way in, one way out, okay? The only way into this building was right by us, right? You had to, you had to walk by us to get in or out of this building, right? So, there we are, and I'm in this building, and then there's this fucking random guy in this in, in the fucking building, right? And he's he's a homeless dude, right? And I'm like, uh, hi, and he's like, hi there, you know? He, like, introduces himself, and uh, I'm like, hi, and he just, he, long story short, he just starts rambling on, right? About just random shit. I, you know, like, just as, as, as one does. Um, as I am doing right now, but he was just talking about skating and surfing and how he's like just traveling around and doing stuff. And he said that he's thinking about suing the state of California because he fell into like a, 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 a pit or something like that. And he like broke his arm and then he like lifts up his like, like thing like this. And he's got this huge fucking like gash in his arm right like a really friggin big one right and he's like yeah it's like nothing i'm just gonna like sue them and like because i mean they didn't put up warning signs and stuff like that and this guy by the way i might add he has peanut butter fucking everywhere it's on the counter it's on his hand it's in his beard it's on his fucking clothes the whole place stunk of like shit and peanut butter right and he had gotten this peanut butter out of, like, the fucking fridge. And, and like, I don't know where he got the bread from, but he's just... And I, he, I was, like, like this guy is, like, talking to me quite a lot, right? And I'm thinking, I don't know who the fuck this guy is, right? But he starts getting a little aggressive, and I'm like, I gotta, I gotta get out of here. And I'm like, oh, I gotta go. And uh, I, I left the kitchen, and I went out to, like, where the rest of the construction guys were. And I was like, there's a fucking guy in the fucking kitchen. He's like a homeless guy. I have no idea how the hell he got in here. And they're like, what? And everyone just stopped what they were doing, went into this kitchen. Guy's gone. Disappeared. Vanished. All the stuff was still there, right? Like the, the, I mean, he took the bread he was making with his peanut butter sandwich, but like the peanut butter jar is still there. The peanut butter is everywhere and stuff like that. It's, we have, to this day, we still have no idea how the hell he got in and out of this office building. So there you go. <laughs> but to this day, I have never eaten peanut butter. I can't stand it, right? I can't, I, I, if I smell peanut butter, I remember that one moment, like just seeing it all over his face and like on his hands, I had to shake his hand and shit like that. He kept making me shake his hand as well. Like he kept reintroducing himself. Anyway, 
That was- that's my story. I don't eat peanut butter. Still. So there you go. Yeah, uh, Cushing. I don't eat Reese's cups because that's the reason. I don't eat it. I can't stand it. My wife loves chocolate peanut and peanut butter ice cream. I fucking can't stand it. Did you get the number of that donkey cart? Sore ass. That's the puzzle. That's how we get the- that's how we get the donkey tail. Sounds so fucked up. It was. It, re it really was. <laughs> and just seeing his arm as well. Like, he was, like, he was messed up. He was messed up. Like, like he had, like, it look, almost... I, I it, it probably wasn't. Now, looking back on it, I thought he had, like, a, like, like a, a compound fracture in his friggin' leg, but it probably wasn't. It was probably just infected. But he had, like, a messed up leg as well. But, like, he must have hurt himself, for real, but... Uh, Slurpees and stuff. Thank you for the follow, my friend. Thank you very much for the follow. Uh, that means a lot. I hope you're well. I uh, hope you're good. Uh, and again, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for the follow. I, I hope it was my story that did it for you. <laughs> I hope that's what it was. I hope you were just kind of like, this guy has had the same experience I had. He knows a thing or two about homeless people and peanut butter. <laughs> maybe that's maybe that's what the follow was about. Like it's like a big community. We all get together and just like talk about our homeless people and peanut butter experiences. Some people really like the combination of chocolate and peanut butter. It's a good combination sometimes. Except for Cushing. Cushing hates it. But for people like me, we hate the combination of peanut butters and homeless people. <laughs> Again, nothing against anyone who's, you know, homeless or likes vast amounts of peanut butter. Um, that's just my story. I, to this day, I will not eat peanut butter. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> There you go. I hope you guys like my story. <laughs> uh, they are toxic because they serve as a natural drug, but too much can kill you. I don't remember how. Oh, oh, the um, nutmeg. Yeah, crazy. Uh, now we can cut the donkey's tail off for a moustache. There we go. Perfect. Moustache. I just remembered a puzzle. I'm looking at this guy, and now I know exactly what it is. In fact, while I'm here, I might as well go get one of the pieces. Uh, it's the... Uh, oh. Where's my knife? Oh, it's on Rincewind. That's right. Oh, I can't do it anymore. I have to wait. Damn it. Ugh. Anything in large amounts can be unhealthy. That's true. One time I ate like a, like a whole bowl of salt. Felt a little sick afterwards, you know? I don't know why. Uh, you know? I added some water to it as well. To like, you know, like water water the salt down. I don't know. It just, it, I, after drinking like four gallons of salted water. I don't know, guys. I just, I felt kind of sick afterwards, you know? Is it- do you think it's me? Do you think that's a problem? Or is- no. <laughs> Why did you eat so much salt? I don't know. <laughs> I never ate that much salt. I don't think you can. I think you die, don't you? Hmm. Oh. There's an item I'm missing, and I don't know how to get it. <clears throat> I, I, like, all the items are just sort of, like, appearing in my head. Uh, do I have the appointment book? I do. I can, I can do another part of the quest while I'm here. Here we go. This place has changed, Hi, right? Sweetie doll. Hey. Hey. So A bowl of straight salt. Sounds so You're bad. Swell. Oh, well, thank you very much. People eat... Now also, sit down and shut up! Uh, people eat crazy things. It's kind of true, isn't it? Like, um... Okay. Um, yeah, um... <clears throat> I used to know this guy. And it's okay if you all do this, right? Um... 
we had a watermelon at work one time. Like this person just like came in and dropped off like a watermelon. You know, it was just like a present for us. You know, but they came in and dropped off this watermelon, and everyone at work just kind of like cut it up and like started eating this watermelon. And um, I was eating my part of the watermelon, and I gave this other guy a part of his. And I was like, oh yeah, you know, I'll, I finished up mine. Let me just take your like watermelon rinds, you know, uh, and 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 toss them out if you want me to. And he was like, oh, I ate it. I was like, what? And I was, uh, I, he was like, oh yeah, I eat the whole watermelon. I was like, you eat the whole watermelon? And he was like, yeah, yeah, of course. Doesn't everybody? And I was like, no, <laughs> no, no, Pe no. <laughs> You're the troll, People don't right? eat the whole damn watermelon. Please. There you go. Uh, there you go, I guess. Hey? I've done it myself. I've eaten the watermelon rind just to see what it was like, but... I didn't really like it. Does anybody else eat the watermelon right? Anyone? It's, is that a normal thing? Do I just not get out that much? Oh, God. The Tide Pod Challenge. Oh. Remember that? Remember, did you guys ever, like, go into, like, the supermarket or whatever and have, like, all the Tide Pods locked up and shit? I remember going into the supermarket and they were all, like, behind lock and key and stuff like that. You had to show ID and stuff like that. It, it was crazy. Crazy for the longest time. Uh, there are some strange, weird people eating stuff, uh, and not even out of desperation or anything. Yeah, it's it's true. People just people just eat stuff, and hey, there's no no judgment or anything. But is made out of lichen, isn't it? Hello. Well, I was in a hurry. That moustache is made out of what? What? Moustache. Uh. But anything won't hurt you or poison you that you can body can turn into calories is technically safely edible really have you guys like ever eaten anything strange before i've eaten a bug like you know how i like, like fry up like crickets or whatever i've eaten that and a, and a fried spider as well didn't really like them they were like really disgusting but that's just me that's just me i knew people who used to eat crickets all the time you know no it did not get so bad where I live. The challenge barely made it to the media. Really? And strange ends. Oh, you know what? My uncle apparently used to eat um, termites. Apparently that was a thing he used to do. Apparently, my dad told me this story where apparently as a kid, and even as an adult, he would take, like, uh, in Australia, we have, um, uh, I don't know, what, crackers? They're called Sao Biscuits. S-A-O. Uh, biscuits. Sao Biscuits. And he'd apparently take those, put a little peanut butter on it, and then take termites, and then just drop them on top, and then just eat it. <laughs> I guess. My mom loves to tell a story when she caught me trying to eat a snail from the garden when you were three. People do that, right? I ate dirt as a kid, you know? I ate worms as a, as a small child. Does that go on, like, my permanent record? No, it fucking doesn't. And it shouldn't. When kids eat dumb stuff, we all do. We've all done it. Even if we can't remember. Tell your mom to lay off, alright? Tell her I ate worms and dirt. Sweet it all. As a kid. As a kid. Not as an adult. You know, I try not to do that anymore. You know? No, there we go. I try not to do it too much, you know. Sometimes I do. You know. Sometimes I can't help it. Sometimes I just, like, go out to, like, um, a nice park somewhere. And I'm just sitting there and I'm, like, looking down at the ground. And I just reach out and then, like, grab a whole bunch of it. And it's, like, soft and moist in my hands. And I kind of like squish it just a little bit. And then I look around to see if anyone's looking. And then I just, all of, you know, I just can't help it sometimes. It's delicious. I'm going to be a star, you know. <laughs> Sorry? Surprised you didn't cover it in Vegemite. Maybe he did at some point. <laughs> I know you meant that as a joke, but. Trolls prefer plums. It's terribly modern. Actually, I don't like Vegemite too much. I'm like the worst Australian ever. I just, I really don't like it too much. 
I really, I really don't. Plants, I think they're called. Yeah, I really don't like them too much. Silly cone. Huh? Oh, yes. her breasts. Yeah. Some cone-shaped bits chipped off that insane troll beside me. Oh, I stuck them down my front. My agent thought it would be a good idea. Oh. You're keeping oh. abreast of the competition, so to speak. <laughs> so, how did you get an audition? Just stay in line like me. It's ever so much fun. Oh, okay. I'm terribly. I think this lady actually appears in the second idea. game. What is Vegemite? Uh, Vegemite is it's a yes, it's love fishy. Uh, Australians. It's like it's like a it's almost like a Australian food that's very very popular. Like we we're all known for eating it. It's a very salty. Not if I can possibly avoid it. A crime from what I've been told. Yeah, it's not the best. It's a spread like butter. Yeah, it's it's like this uh really dark. I have some. Maybe I'll eat it next time. I'll eat it tomorrow if you guys want me to. I mean, I don't mind it. It's you know, it's very salty. It's what it is. Very salty. Um, I think it's made out of yeast or something like that. Uh, Australians eat it like crazy. They put it on pizzas and. Uh, everything. Very everything. Everything. We have a thing called, like, a lot of kids um, have, um, uh, like, at, like, kids' birthday parties. We'll have something called a tiger toast, which is Next. a piece of toast, usually, Next. like, just plain old white bread, you know what I mean? Um, and then you put Vegemite on it, and then take, like, little pieces of, ch like, cheese, like, um, I don't know, whatever type of cheese, like thin slices of cheese, and then you spread it across to make it look like a tiger. I don't know. That was something kids used to eat. A hero? Yeah. There you go. There you go. I, I, it's, I don't recommend trying it. A lot of people don't like it. But, that said, a lot of people don't know how to eat it properly. Which is something I learned when I came to America. <laughs> I, I, I watch people like... I had some of it when I, uh, sent to me when I was, when it, w w now that I'm here um, in America. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> and, uh, I, I took some into work for people to try it, and they took, like, yeah, a knife, and then, like, a huge scoop of the fucking but shit, and I'm sitting there being like, huh, <laughs> don't eat that much, and then I just put it on, and, mm, and then, like, mm, I don't like this. And I'm like, no kidding, you just ate, like, a spoonful of it. I wouldn't- no one would like it. Maybe. I have no idea. I don't know any Australians that eat it like by the spoonful, but... I had an uncle that ate termites, so... <laughs> Am I the best judge of character for this shit? Probably not. Probably not. To answer your question, Amaral... GB's had it right. It's- it's a- it's a crime. <laughs> Uh, you spread it on bread, pop it in your mouth, and chew. Chew. Chew, and don't throw up. Keep it down. It's like a, it's like a, it's, it's almost, it's almost like a torture test, you know what I mean? Like, some people have, like, things like waterboarding and, um, pulling your toenails out and stuff like that. We Australians just sit, like, someone down, tie him into a chair, and then grab, like, a big spoonful of, like, um, <clears throat> Vegemite, and then just pinch their nose until they breathe and then put the spoon in and then close their mouth and then and then you know and then when they swallow it they're like I'll tell you anything you want to know please just don't feed me that anymore <laughs> it's true and I should know I'm Australian yeah mm, that's right not a fake one a real one I have my real Australian license and everything I've heard it's made out of koala. Oh yeah, yeah we ground them down as well. We uh, take them, uh, shave them, um, put them in like a koala milker, and then we like milk their like little teats, and then we take that, uh, cure it for about, like leave it in like a barrel for at least um, three years. And then once we take it out, it's turned into like a very, uh, bright pink um color and then we take the very same koala um uh re-shave him um 
then we 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 uh, take that koala, get him really drunk, uh, feed him a lot of salt until he uh, sadly passes away from too much salt, and then um, and then we put him in that same. Uh, then we like like blend it up in the vat and uh, let it sit for another three years. And then um, add some more salt to it every so often, just like you know, like little sprinkles of it. Uh, stir it up, and then uh, we pop it out. So about after about six years, we take it back out, uh, crack open the barrel again, and then it, by this time it's now turned into a very dark brown color, um, and it's very thick as well, very thick. And then we put it into jars, and then just ship it out to every store in town. That's how Vegemite is made. She's forgotten about You can me. quote me on that. If only she would come. Yes, listen, about these tattoos. I can't even think about that now. You guys I'm believe lost. me, right? <laughs> <laughs> you believe me, right, everyone? Foodbot, you believe me? Foodbot believes me. Right, here you are then. The milkmaid is all set to be your next appointment. I drank my tea, everyone. Oh, that's marvellous. I'll be seeing you. I wonder if this guy ever gets with the milkmaid. God, I hope so. I hate unhappy endings. If you know what I'm talking about. Um... <clears throat> No, I- wait. Yes? Possibly. There's something here I need to get, but I don't know if I have the item yet. I do. Okay, perfect. Perfect. You guys have, like how quickly I'm blasting through this game? <laughs> I don't know why it does that. I'm actually good at a video game for once. Sure thing, like, and I believe every word. Well, I think it's a really bad ending for the koala. Nah, they love it. You know, in I, did I mention in the three years before we, the first time, the first three years we barrel it up, uh, that koala, we get him, like, completely uh, stoned and uh, give him as much booze and, and female koalas as he can handle. And, um, and then just before the end, I mean, he's eaten so much salt, he can't remember what the fuck it is going on. So... He's having a good time, I would say. Ask Cushing. He he knows all about it. You give Cushing, like, um, some Jack Daniels or rum or whatever. He's fucking all about it. He, that's a good night to, to him. Right, Cushing? Yeah. Food bot, absolutely. <laughs> that's Cushing's idea of a good time. Being f surrounded, uh, surrounded by uh, beautiful ladies. Getting high and drunk as fuck. And, um... And then getting milked. <laughs> milked for a delicious Vegemite. Oh, I do need the item. Where is it? That doesn't work. Oh, I don't remember. Okay, that could be a problem. There's an item I need. It's a- it's one of those love custards, but I can't remember where to get it. I need it to- for this, and I need it for the end as well. I can't remember where to get it. Okay, we need the mallet. Whoops. We need... This, for this. The prize-winning sheep. You're welcome, little sheep. And then we have to take a photo of the sheep. Perfect. And then we do this with this. Oh. Perfect. Uh, I don't know where to get that damn pie from. I need a pie. Maybe it's in the, uh, the Unseen University. I just know I need a pie. Because I need it to kiss Nanny Og. Hmm. Empty. 
and I need it for later. Maybe I just take some of this. That doesn't. No. Okay. It's too late. I can't do it. Ugh. Where is it? Love custard. Um, where oh where is the love custard? Is it at the hideout? No. Most definitely not. Uh, is it... It might be at the Unseen University, or on the street corner, or completely somewhere else that I can't remember. That's also a possibility. A very big possibility. Probably the biggest possibility. Oh, you know what? I just remember there's another item here I need. It's in here. Almost completely. It's weird. This is a weird feeling. It's like all the all the memories are coming back to me. It's like somewhere here, right? Magic book. There it is. Okay. Again, that would require me to have an insane amount of money, which doesn't work in this reality. <laughs> well, good grief! I've been read by a book. I mean, you could just like. Sturcus, Sturcus Mortuus. No, I won't say it. I won't, at least not until I need to. I, I mean, you could also. You could just be like um. Um, y you, maybe later on you'll get like um. Like, um, some sort of, so, yeah, sell a kidney, there you go. I suppose, actually, uh, it's a morbid thought. But how much do you think, uh, like, uh, like, an actual kidney would go for on, like, the black market? Because I would like to know how much a, an actual human kidney could go for on the black market. And, if said money is enough money... To, to to do the to have a, a party like I just said. Uh, please don't. <laughs> no, yeah, don't look it up. It, I'm sure there's like some sort of disgusting picture out there. Um, maybe it's at the broken gym. Maybe it's at the alley. Maybe it's at the palace. Couple grand? You really think so? I know that seems steep to me. You reckon two thousand bucks? I'm not a man. I'm not a ladies' magnet by any stretch. Well, with two G's, man, you could be a ladies' magnet. That's what I think. Anyone could. That's what I think. Uh, I presume it will partially depend on the blood type of the donor as well. Oh yeah, what's the what's that blood type? You guys know the one I'm talking about, right? It's like it's like the universal blood type. What is that one? It's like O OG negative, right? Dio the best. The orit OG OG B B T, the OG blood type, original gangster blood type. Yes? No? OG negative. <laughs> hey, what's, uh, do you guys uh, remember, um, uh, uh, typo negative? No. Shit. It's the, it's a band. But with, uh, Peter, Peter Steele. Remember that one? Uh, oh, fuck, I love that. I love that band. I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be male. Remember that one? Uh, hey, uh, uh Panda, how you doing? You back? Rog? Cushing? Jeebies? Chris? And maybe meet Needy? 
Uh, I don't know Peter Steele. Yeah, it was uh, uh, Typo Negative. I think that's the band. Uh, <laughs> I think. Just go to like Google and type in like uh, I don't want to be me lyrics. That's the name of the, that the band who does that song. Peter Steele. He was a fucking beast of a man. Like he was like really tall and he had like dark black hair and he had like a crazy. That's the band. Yeah, it, I love that song by the way. And uh, his rendition of um, uh, Summer Breeze. <laughs> Summer Breeze makes me feel fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. How are you? I'm fantastic, Panda. Uh, as for everyone else, he was 6'8? Fuck me. That's like two inches shorter than I am. No, I'm not fooling anyone. I'm short as hell. I'm 5'7. <laughs> I'm 5'7. I'm really tall. I'm really tiny. Everyone makes fun of me. Um, uh, Rog is not here. Uh, Cushing's here, GB's is here, Chris is here, uh, Needy is not here. It, Needy was up pretty late. <laughs> That's me, sir. Something is different than I remember, but I can't here, pinpoint. Take a seat and I'll do you now. My webcam? Now, what style of tattoo are you interested in? Uh, I don't think so. Everything should be fine. Your body we're talking about here. <laughs> You're 5'7", but how Those tall am I? Needles, they look pretty pointy. Razor sharp. It's so they can tall enough. <laughs> tall enough where it counts, mm. you know. Let's just say those oh, seven extra inches. Stabbing into the living tissue, hooking through the skin and spurting ink. Let's just say I'm five. That to be done thousands of times. But that's seven, you know. Oh, does it hurt? Oh yeah. You getting that hint yet? Is anyone intense. getting that hint? No. How many people just left? How many people just unsubscribed and unfollowed and shit? I'm sorry. <laughs> Chris is like, yeah. <laughs> uh, how is everything, Panda? Uh, oh, uh... I forget. I, I can't remember how... It's like 157 centimeters or something. I can't remember. It's something... I'm short. Sure. I'm short. Sure. Not that I'm saying anyone who is 5'7. Um, not that I, I'm not saying if anyone's that short that they are short. You, you know. I'm just saying people call me short. That's all I'm saying. Try my son. He gives them away with bubblegum. That's what it was. Your son? So you're just five years old. Sure, I can believe that. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh. oh, thanks for that. Oh well. I'll be off now. Oh well. I really need that custard. Actually, I made custard the other night. If you guys can believe it. After playing this last week, uh, about three days after that, I made a, uh, I made um, I made custard, and it was nice. I had a good time. For God's sakes, I don't know where to find the, the custard. Gosh darn it. Oh, I never went back to the Unseen University, did I? Oopsie. 57 is average, mediocre if you will. Thanks. Thanks there, Jeebies. You're supposed to be a bro and be like, um, 57? That's tall as fuck, bro. We got you back, bruh. And then, like, you're supposed to, like, chest bump me and shit? You're supposed to have my back. Gosh darn it, Jeebies. Gosh darn it. I'd have your back. I'm just... Good, I... Good try. I'm not saying that people are that short or short. Good try, bud. What? Oh, there's the spatula. I found the spatula, everybody! Am I winning the game yet? That's the plates. That's Rincewind. That's the luggage. Okay, it turns out the love custard is not here. Damn shame. I'm 5'10. I can't have your back if I'm towering over it.
That was terrible, GBs. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> I'm kidding. That was great. Where the fuck is the love custard? Does anybody remember where the, 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 the custard is? Anybody at all? Oh, God. And you just called me short? No, I'm not calling you short. We band together. We're in a club. All the five sevens in the house say what? <laughs> no? That was mean. I like it. <laughs> oh man! Aw, oh, man! I'm gonna tell my mum on you guys. She's gonna be so angry when I tell her. She's gonna be like... Good joke, Jeebies. And then, you know, fist bump, you know? Yeah? Where's the love custard? Gosh darn it. It's not in the dungeon. Where the hell is it? Maybe it's in the, uh... No, it's not. It wouldn't be there. I need the stupid custard. I need it now. Where's Cushing? I'm sure Cushing knows the game like, it, it, like the back of his hand. Love Custards. Sounds like a great high school nickname. Yeah, it is. And I should know. I should know. Uh. Yeah. Actually, while I'm here, let me do this. This is for a later puzzle, by the way. You quite? No! There's nothing wrong with being short. You're at the exact height you need to be. And that's the truth. Where the fuck is the love custard? I can't remember where the stupid custard is. It's in a- I, I'm pretty sure it's in like a little- Titan or whatever and, and you need to have that I just don't know where to get it I don't think I'm missing anything I know this guy is making custard. But I, I swear I, there's like a, a, a like a, a thing you need. Can I just... That doesn't no. Um... Mallet? No, that doesn't work. Ugh... Here's some oil sloshing around inside. That's not important, is it? Maybe I just need to talk to this guy. Come and taste the quality of my wares. What do you got? What in Opera's name are you savvy? Where have all those flies come from? You rang. Do you remember where the uh, love custard thing is? So what are you selling? Selling? Why, custard? Oh, maybe he just gives me one. Blue ribbon custard. Hold on, Cushing. Let me put you on hold real quick. Please stay on the line, Cushing. Your um, your your help means a lot to me. What if I? What would happen if I spend all my coins on? Hydration? Um, I'd basically be swimming, is what would happen. First, my stomach would explode from too much water. 
and then all the all that water would just overflow out of my mouth and then slowly the camera would fill up with water like about to about here and then I'd just be floating around is what would happen aren't you the guy who used to collect the dummy cans all that is behind you <clears throat> sir i am now the custard king can i do it <laughs> cushing so what are all the flies doing here no i have nothing to drink no oh, i do i have a little bit can i do it no i'm dying you want me to die panda do you a bit concerned about the level of hygiene. Do you have health standards? Beep, beep, beep. Yes, indeed, sir. Well? Well, what, sir? What are your health standards? Mm. Oh, we watch the flies very carefully, sir. <laughs> the moment one looks a little bit off colour, he's hauled off to bed and we don't listen to any excuses. <laughs> No. So what all the food? No. Do you have yes, well, what, what? Oh, the So what are you based? I mean if it's well, uh, no, wait a minute. Nothing, sir. I guarantee that What in No, okay, that doesn't work. Damn it. Why did his voice change? Um Shit. I don't remember where to get the stupid custard. I need that. Here's the plan. Don't tell him. <laughs> uh, no. What have I? What have I found out here? I need that custard though. I, it's like a little pie of custard. I don't know where to get it. I I need it though. Oh, come on, governor. Shit, I do. What? Well, obviously you're trying to swindle me out of something. Next thing you'll be trying to trick me into performing some sort of stupid stunt. Such as. Whoops. I suppose you were going to get me to blow an incredibly huge bubble and then run off with the goods. Never. I don't think you can blow bubbles much bigger than you have been anyway. Of course I can. Here, watch. Can I hold your bubble gum packet for you? Oh, thanks. This is empty. It comes with a transfer. You don't think I'm going to let you have my transfer? It's collectible. Well, how do you collect a transfer? I mean, you have to put it on your skin. It'll wash off. Wash gum? Oh, right. Sorry, I used bad language. Uh. Tell me again about the attractions of being a lovable street life stereotype. I'm class background colour, I am, sir. You're about to die. Just give me the damn transfer. I can't remember. <laughs> Come and get it, pencil head. Hold on. I need to do this. <sighs> hey, six more followers till you hit 150. Really? Uh, how did that happen? <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe it's, it's maybe it's here. Nope. Coffin for sale. One owner only. Low mileage. <laughs> Make money in your sponsor. No, okay, never mind. Damn it. Where the hell is the love custard? And let me just check down here real quick. I doubt it's in here, but, you know. I have no idea how the uh, follower thing happened, by the way. Oh. That's the bag of seeds. Sink. No, okay. No, it's not here. Custard is with that man behind. What man? Oh, yeah, with the, the, the guy in the back. Yeah, I need, like, a, a tin of it. I, 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 like a, I, He's not selling it to me. I don't even know if that's where you get it from. Uh, maybe it is. I'm not sure. Maybe I just have to, like, pay him or something? I just don't know where it is. My bad. I can unfollow. <laughs> It's okay, yeah, you know, it's, it's it happens, Root, but, you know, how you how are you to know, my friend? How are you to know? You know? I forgive you. I forgive you. 
you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Okay. Okay. Oh, it was literally on the thing. It was? Oh. <laughs> hey! There's supposed to be sound effects here. I will hunt and Lycan knows I can do that. He gets scared. Watch me. Yeah, it's true. I'll never touch the stuff again. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, we got the. Oh. Uh, there we go. Okay, where the hell is that costed? I need like a like a, 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 a like a, a, a pie tin of it, you know? I know that's what it is because I remember the, I remember the very end of the game, and I, I I remember I need it for like uh, Nanny Og. He has to like eat it. I just don't remember where it is. I can't believe I don't remember where. It's like every other thing in this game is like come to me and now I just don't remember where that is. Okay. Let me try to um let me try to buy it from him. I I don't think it's going to work, but I'll I'll try. Oh, maybe it's from these guys. It's him. Him. A hero. I say you're wrong. It's hundreds this is the worst wizard ever. If he really needs custard just to make it appear. It's true. Rincewind is the worst wizard. He legitimately is. Oh, yeah. These guys. Oops. Hey, I'm skipping through it. Oh. Oops. Is this where I get the custard from? What can you tell me about heroes? Yes. What? Tell him. Oh, yeah. Traps. Yes, a big ass. Nope. I really do think we ought to quite right but the city oh yeah I remember that okay um no it's not there where the hell is the damn custom I, 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 I don't remember if I need any of this Okay. Let's see if I can buy it from him. That doesn't No. <laughs> Damn it. I don't remember. Son of a gun. Oh no no, it's I I yeah I'm I'm sure maybe I do have to get it from here, but I I got nothing to put it in. That doesn't that doesn't I I don't remember doing this. That doesn't ick. Yeah. He doesn't need anything. Anything at all. He doesn't need anything. I remember why we need the carpet now. And 
Dibla has the leeches in the bag. I don't think I don't think I need anything from the shades the glass maybe N uh, maybe I just remember it being in like like a like a like a, a thing I, I can't remember how to do it welcome to the most confused streamer who's playing the worst wizard it's that's yes it's actually 100% true I I am a very confused streamer playing the worst wizard he really is the worst I don't think he can do any magic uh, spatula. I remember we got to get this off the wall, but I don't remember why. I don't know what the hell we need that for. Anyway. I just walked through a grave? Oh, no. It's, it's, it's a joke. The guy is alive in the first act, and then he dies in the second one, and then he's got, like, a grave, and they all think he's just playing a joke. <laughs> Does anybody remember? No. That's not the right place. Anybody? Anybody remember how to get the custard? I don't remember. I really, really don't. Oh my god. I can't re I can't believe it! I failed the disc world. I failed. Now how can I claim to be the best disc world player ever? Damn it. If you guys want to leave, I understand, you know. It's okay. All right, let me just try the damn park, shall I? Just about as helpful as I thought it would be. <laughs> I don't remember how to get the damn custard. I just remember it being in like a, a, a pie tin. Maybe it is in the barn and I just don't remember. No? No. I remember I need it because I need to get the potion from Nanny Og. Uh. Um. Broken Drum didn't have it. The Palace didn't have it. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's on the, uh, that stupid guy. Um. No. That doesn't... No. What's that? Try the... Try the goddamn gloss? Alright, I'll try it. Just let me try this first. Oh, I see. Sort of a draconic calling card. No. Let me just try this really quick. I swear there's a damn python. Because I remember the very end of the game. Uh, do I crank this? Maybe? And enough. Uh, I was hoping he had it. And a, a chamber pot. Maybe? Maybe? I thought... Uh, let me just ask this guy. If he says I'm a bit tied up at the moment... Oh. He's gonna squirt me. <laughs> nice. Well, I didn't... I don't want you to try the glass, so I don't know what you're going to do now. Uh, hollow bone? No. Uh, did he get distracted? No. Okay, I thought he would have like a pie tin. You know like the ones that they like throw you- throw in the face? That's the one I'm thinking of. 
because that's why I need it. Alright, let me try it. Let me try the gloss. I don't think it's going to work, but maybe I talk to the cook. Pancake thieves, that who's the, your actual robbers of powder. I'm skipping through it now. No, okay. Maybe this guy? Are you standing for this? No, okay. Damn it. Gosh darn it. A hail bone? What was that? But like a bone with a space in it? Uh Oh, distraction. Um What was that you wanted oh yeah, the the the, the uh, glass, that's right. Maybe I'll just ask the Dibbler again. Maybe he has got something. Okay, let me try it. The gloss. That doesn't work. No, that doesn't work. That doesn't. Let's not investigate that too closely, shall we? Okay. Sir, can... No. Okay. There you, go. there you go. Um. All right. Wait, look up again. Look, it's that beautiful. What's it? It depends. It's all here. No, he's just gonna tell me the same stuff. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no! Well, I'm cut. How could cut now? I thought, well, I've got here's a put on your season, not for the worst. No, that. Um. God, this is driving me nuts. I can't remember. A python. Well, it's not here. <laughs> no, I, I I can't get the bucket. No. The inn, maybe. I can't think of where else it would be. No. Nope. Maybe the innkeeper has something. Maybe you need to add something to the machine first. Uh, maybe. My twin brother runs the mended drop. Oh, good looks must run in the family. Nope. Maybe I do. Oh yeah, he does. It's already made. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. Ugh. Uh, I don't think I have anything that I could add to it. What would I add to it? Why do I have this? A mallet, a knife, a ladder, a moustache. Maybe I need to use the tanket. That doesn't. Nope. Maybe not. <clears throat> I can't get... Jeez, I hope I didn't soft lock the game. Um, no, I need to... I, I know, I know I need to get... Because uh, he has, like, um... The next part of the puzzle is that he, um... That doesn't... He eats some of it. That doesn't... To, to, um... He'll eat some of it to, to, to progress to the next puzzle. So I just don't know where to get, how to get the custard. Maybe it's not here. Maybe it's outside somewhere, and I'm just missing an item. It's not in here, is it? Crackers, gunpowder. Nope. In the woods.
woods, maybe? Maybe there's something here. Uh. Oh, that's right, he got drunk. Well, maybe now I can use it. Now that he's emptied it out. Poor little guy. No. No. Yeah, that's that is one of those types. This is one of those types of games, Panda. Uh, but I don't think I need to help anybody. I don't think I need to help that guy. Gosh. I never thought I'd have to do any thinking, but now I'm thinking. My brain is thinking. I need to go to the past pass again. It'll ask you to do too much effort? Maybe. No, that didn't help me. Um, I'll try to put it in the tankard. I don't think it's going to work, but I, I can try. And I don't think there's anything here I need. I just know I need to get the love potion from her. But in order to get that, I need to eat some of the, the custard. So I need like a little pipe. Maybe you'll need the eggs? No, I can't get eggs anymore. I already, the only the only thing the eggs are used for is, um, um, was to get the snake, which I, which I now have. Potion, potion. Crystal ball, wool. No. Damn it. Let me just talk to Nanny Og. No, that's the love custard, and she won't give that to me without giving her a kiss. Oops. I can't remember. Should go for the gold. This guy is fast. Is oh yeah, he's really quick. He moves quick. Okay, that was of zero help to me. And the end of the world has nothing. The woods has nothing. And I need to get to the temple of Offler as well. But I need the love po the the uh, it's oh it's a truth potion is what it is. I need that. In this hideout barn park shades. Let me try putting it in here. That doesn't. That doesn't work. In the pot. No. That doesn't. That doesn't work. 
Right. Um. Yes, this soot seems hauntingly familiar, but I can't quite put my finger on why. Um. That doesn't... That doesn't... Hmm. That doesn't... No. I thought maybe I had to, like, bash something down. Damn it. I can't believe I don't remember. It's- I'm like drawing a- like, I know what the item is. I- I know what it is I need. I just genuinely don't remember how to get it. I guess not. Damn it. Um. The stupid custard. How do I get the stupid custard? Maybe I just need to go to the hideout. Maybe they give me one. Mm, ah! <laughs> there it is! I got it! Oh my god! I did it! <laughs> I did it! Oh my god! Everyone, you can breathe a sigh of relief here. I, 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 I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. By golly gosh, I did it. Oh my god. <laughs> I did it. I can continue. Holy shit. I did it. I thought I had to get it from that guy, but I didn't. I told you guys it was in a pie tin. No one believed me. You all thought I was crazy. I remember, because I was there, you were all pointing and laughing at me, saying, Ah, they're right, there is no love custard, you've been in an insane asylum for the last 12 years. Try again later. No, oh, whoops. Watch out, dearie. Okay, and now we ask her about the truth potion. Oh, about your Lie remover, I, I, apo I apologize. Oh. It's my special truth potion. There we go. I'll only let you have some in return for a kiss. 
And this time, I'll be keeping my eyes open, so I will. Okay. Right, and now we eat the custard. Which makes Rincewind, you know, a little bit, you know, lovey-dovey. Gets in there with the smoochy smoochy smoochies. My, my. Oh, about the truth potion? Here, take it. Oh, my, my. <laughs> there we go. That's what we needed it for, everybody. <laughs> there we go. Just to get this. Holy crap. Oh, I closed the door. I was so angry I slammed the door in my own face. Jeez. Oh my god. Is everybody happy now? Put down your pitchforks, everyone. It's okay. Oops. Okay, now we can blast on through. Holy shit. Okay. Go here. Go to the broken drum. Go here. Go down here. And I've already solved this puzzle. Earlier, I mean. That's why I put this photo up. It, it comes in handy later. Hello? Hello? Oh, yes. That's it, is it? That's the way you greet the greatest hero of our age? The one, the only, the invincible? You are. I'm important, me. I can't just go around answering any old greeting, you know? Well, how would you prefer our greeting? Well, shoving a pint in me hand would be nice. I'm Flea Bart the Incredible. Greatest thief in the multiverse. I've survived everything. I fought the Ant God of Quacks and he doesn't even exist. And I survived the Valley of the Scantily Clad Amazingly Well Hairstyled okay. Members and Women. I've even escaped from the Temple of Othla, from which no other man has returned in fewer than three pieces. Not bad. <laughs> You dare to doubt the greatest hero of our age? I know all up and down the river I am. The oh. river? Yeah. The river Ank? Isn't that a little dangerous? You have to watch out for all the goiters and the yours. Yours? What's yours? Mine's another point, thanks. Clever. Oh, right. A drink. Okay, now we get the drink. We give him the, the, the lie remover. Okay. Okay, and now we, we, we give it to this guy. Okay, but this is where the, the picture came in handy last time, right? See? E look, a picture of okay. the gold cup winning rooster at the Clatchian Animal Crew. Why this one doesn't work with the, uh, the picture of the octopus, I don't know. But we had to take a photo of that sheep. May I draw your attention to the sheep. picture of the award winning pig from the Ankmore Port, Port Butchers Guild Ball? Right, and if we don't have the picture up there, Rincewind doesn't have enough things to point out, so he ends up drinking the truth potion. So, yes, he just says something like, oh, I can't believe I stole the pancake, or something like that. But, if we have this photo up, it gives us one more thing to look at for Rincewind to point out, and then that guy doesn't have anything to point out, thus, he drinks the potion. And then tells us the truth. There. That blue ribbon winning sheep from the uh, Polymers of Offla Sacrificial Lamb competition. Yeah, that was the one. There. Right. Drink up. See, he's got nothing to look at. Watch. There, see, he's, he's looking around, but he knows he's screwed. So he has to drink the truth potion. He's a weasel. But a weasel, a sniveling, no good, lying little we. Yeah, now look. So <laughs> just long and brown and lying with words and stuff. Words and stuff, okay? Important. Words and stuff are important, okay? It's in the jungle, over a gorge. Any map There, that's why we needed it. So we know where the Temple of Offler is, which is why we need the carpet, okay? It's like a walkthrough. It's like walking. It, it, watching this stream is like watching a walkthrough to this game, right? 
Ah, man, I missed my calling in life. I should have been a Discworld walkthrough guide man. That's what I should have been. Except for the part where I couldn't remember where to get the Python. But, you know, that adds to the, like, the, the fun of it. You know, you, you're kind of sitting there being like, oh my god, does he know how to get it? Maybe he doesn't. And then you start to doubt my uh, amazing Discworld playing skills. And then next thing you know, I know the answer. And by know the answer, I mean vaguely kind of remembered and, and went there on off chance that I was right. And it turned out I was right. So now we use the carpet on this guy. This is the guy we had the we stole his cloak from. Remember we made it rain and shit? Get off! No! No! Respect! Respect! I talk to your god! Respect, I say! Perfect. Absolute perfection. Ah. It basically he pushes us off if we don't do it. He pushes us off and then and then for some reason the luggage eats all the crocodiles. I yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, this is why we needed the leash. Yeah. Okay, so Rincewind doesn't want to go in here. So you have to put the leash on the luggage. And then he takes the blindfold. The bandana. My bad. And then puts it on. And then walks through the traps. Clang. Sling. Thwang. Kapow. Boom. He made it. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Don't remember why I needed this though, but I have it. And I'm going to point this out. This is a fun-ish fact I didn't understand this upcoming reference when I was a kid because I hadn't watched the movie yet but to get this we have to use the pouch and use the sand is anybody catching this reference yet there you go Indiana Jones, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I didn't get that as a kid. You managed to catch me too. That's, you did. Taylor, man, how are you doing? And I like that as well. You thought it was a big one, but it was just a tiny little pebble. Shit, man, how's the, how's the, how's the, how's, how is everything? And I'm playing Discworld. you damn straight I'm playing Discworld. Man, this is like my favorite game of all time. I don't know why, but it is. Boy, do I love Discworld. All of them. Uh, yo, I'm good, how are you? Man, I'm fantastic. Fan fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, my friend. Did you have a good sleep? I've never played the games, but I've read all the book. Man, if you played the if you read the books, you'll probably enjoy the game. This one's vaguely based on, I think, like, uh, Light Fantastic and a few others. I did, thank you. Ah, that's good, man. There, see, there's like cut my own throat dibbler there. That's Terry Pratchett. I'm pointing like you can see. He's right next to him. That's Terry Pratchett. There he is, see him? With the black hat and the glasses. <laughs> oh, Rog, how you doing, man? Oh, yeah. I I'm the guy with all the references. And, I'll tell you something right now. Here's a fun fact. If you were playing this... On the... No. I wish. Man, holy crap do I wish. I, I have... Yeah, it's it's emulated. Uh, you have to. They, they don't sell it anywhere. And a legit copy of this game is going to set you back a small fortune. You know who does have it, though? Grumpy Henna. Fucking Henna has this game. And she didn't even realize it <laughs> until I was playing it. She was like, oh, I have this game. It's on my PlayStation collection. And I was like, oh, what? <laughs> Prove it. And she took a picture and I was like, fuck. Holy shit. But you know what's fun, though? If you had the PlayStation copy of this game, there's a secret in this part. If you click on, like, a bunch of people and then 
in like a particular order. Rinsman will turn around and says, I, I want to be the first character in a video game to say the word fuck. And he says it completely uncensored. And that's only in the PlayStation version of this game. And then in the second game, they reference that. There you go. I, <laughs> I don't know why. It's a completely hidden secret, but there you go. Anyway, Rog, how you doing, man? How's Wilma? Oh. And I wish I could fix all the sounds, but I can't. I apologize. A hero? Who? Me. So you found all the bits you need then? Yes, now I finally have the power. Ooh. I'm a hero. I'm great. At last. Good to hear, man. <laughs> there we go. He's dressing up like a true hero. Did I break the bad news to Rog yet? Oh. No, I haven't yet. This is, I mean, he just appeared, so I haven't had the chance, so. I'll do it in like two seconds. I'll break the bad news to Rog. Yep, it's bad news, Rog. I have to keep him on like, on the edge of his seat. That's, that's what I'm doing. It's dramatic. It's a dramatic pause, everyone. It's a dramatic. I'm, I'm not waiting for the cutscene to be over. It's just a dramatic pause, is what it's do. Is what I'm doing. Rug's gonna be like, "What did I do? What happened? What's the bad news? Oh God, what is it?" And I'm glad Wilma's doing all right too. Has she chewed up your shoes yet? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> don't worry. Oh, by the way, Rug, I don't know if you watched the um, the the vods to this because I remember you didn't get to see the ending of it uh, last time. But do you remember when I said, and for anyone else who's been here for as long as Rug has, or remembers me talking about this, when I was playing Monkey Island, there's a dog in Monkey Island, and for some reason I was convinced this is the first game of Monkey Island, The Secret, I was convinced that you had to put a glued bone in its mouth. I was convinced. It was in this game the entire time to put the glue in the dog's mouth. Not my shoes, but her puppy teeth and needles and chewing what she's chewing she can get a hold of. Yeah, I know. And that's just how they are. I mean, you did the right thing. You like, you had like a little stick and stuff like that, so that's pretty good. And there's the dog in the background right there, Gaspo the talking wonder dog. God, I wish I could fix the, the the music. That's another thing. It, since it's emulated, it's broken. But I mean, that's the best. Like, if look, GOG, uh, good old game. If you're listening right now. Or you or steam if you're listening for the love of god fix figure out the licensing to all the discworld games if you want to charge me 20 bucks a pop for each one i'll fucking do it i will buy them i will give you 20 bucks please please i love you gog partner me <laughs> i'm kidding i don't think they'd ever would but i'd take that offer I wonder what a partnering on GOG would be like. What do you think they what do you think they do? Do you think they like give you free games? Was it something I said? That'd be pretty good. No. It's just that I hate Do people even get partnered to GOG? Is that even a thing? Well, in that case, Terry's daughter works in games. Maybe we should petition her. Shit! I th she might actually hold hold the rights. Yes. <laughs> hey Taylor, maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll team up together and we'll we'll go and ch we'll go and have a chat with her, and um, we'll see what we can figure out. We'll say, hey, listen, please, and then I'll get down on my my hands and my knees and I'll I'll start crying and you'll be like, look at this poor sniveling piece of shit. Look at him. You can't say no to this beautiful sniveling face. Please <laughs> help us out. Help us out. 
I think it's I think it's a plan that could work. <laughs> uh, I know a streamer officially partnered with GOG. Really? Maybe I have a chance then. If I get partnered to GOG, guys, I'll I'll let I'll let you know. <laughs> what was the bad news? Don't worry, I'll tell you. Just give me two seconds. I don't know how loud the game is to my voice, so I don't know how hard it is for you guys to understand me. Who is it, by the way, Chris? Uh, when they have a campaign, you need to play some of their titles on stream just to show them around. Really? One and a half? <laughs> One and... Just fades out of existence. I Don't worry, Rog. Don't worry, buddy. It's almost over. I wonder if it's good to be partnered with GOG. It, it must be uh, two. <laughs> look, don't worry. Look, the act's over now. I promise. See? Okay, this is the bad news. We played Orcs Must Die on stream. Um, and Orcs Must Die gives us a leaderboard. And I can see what how I'm doing compared to my uh, friends on my friends list. And um, I have some bad news for you. I got better high scores than you did in that game, as far as you played. And um, I knocked you off the leaderboard, and now I'm ahead of you in the leaderboard right there. I know this must be troubling for you to hear, and I know you might be crying a little bit and and just screaming, "No, no, it can't be true." That river's a bit too blue for your liking. See? Now that you've said that, I know 100% you've read the books. It's also a little too liquidy for my appearance. I mean, my taste. It should be a little harder enough to walk on. <laughs> no! Yep. Uh, l l is it li Lilia? Lilia alive? Oh, may maybe, um, I wonder how she did it. I wonder how you get partnered with GOG. They must reach out to you. There's no way someone like me could get, like, partnered with GOG. It doesn't make sense. How does that work? Who the hell is that? <laughs> Who's this? Strange man. Are oh, you okay there, Rinchwind? <laughs> Are you alright, buddy? Alright, anyway, we gotta get the key. Let's rob this poor tied-up lady. Perfect. Okay. Put that in there. We're almost at the end of the game, everybody. This is like, this is like it. Look, I'm speed running it. Um, it's actually flowing, I know, see? Now I know you're a cultured man. I actually, um, <clears throat> you might find this one a bit, a bit sad. I used to have all the Discworld books and I used to get them from, from like my family. I used to get what like one one like one or two a year for like my birthday or Christmas, and it was like each one right like you know the first one the second and so on, and when I moved to America I couldn't take them all with me right, and so I I put all the stuff I couldn't take with me in a box and I said to my dad hey just sh ship this to me and then I can have it right and I'll I'll pay you and everything, he never sent it to me, and then a hurricane went through. <clears throat> and destroyed all the stuff. So I lost all of my Discord books that I had. I hadn't even finished reading them all. The only one I have is um, uh, the third book, which I... Uh, uh, oh, God. It's... I, I, have the, I have it upstairs. I can't remember the name of it, but... Um, I have it just upstairs, and it's the ones with, like, all the beautiful artwork on, the, on it as well. And... Um, I don't have them anymore and the ones in America now just are like have these like really bland equal rights yeah thank you very much um I have it upstairs in my in the loft where I can re remember um and read it I, I took it with me because I was reading it on the flight from Australia to America and now I and now I um I bought it on a Google Play but look this is the cover of the books if I can get it working oops I can't show you, but it, it's a, I, I had to end up buying it on like the book, uh, the e-book, e 
to like slowly build up my collection again, but it is what it is. I wish I had the uh, the actual physical copies, but it is what it is. <laughs> How are you doing, Jeremy? Man, El Chaco, I'm doing great, and I hope you're doing well too. You know what? Half the people here probably have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> but I do. It's our nice little in-joke. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, you're still free to play games you like, but don't want to show Steam Overlay, I think, to emphasize you got them off GOG. Oh. Really? Oh, is that true? Like, do you actually- is that like a real thing? Like, you, like if I- let's just say this game was on GOG, right? And GOG said to me, Hey, play this game, and we'll give you a special code, and people who want to buy this game can use your code. They get a discount, and you get a little bit of money. Is that- is that real? That can't be real. Is that real? That's crazy. It's the chuck. Quick, get the root beer! <laughs> Old Jeremy Four Skulls. I, I put that up on my Twitter as well. <laughs> I put that up on Twitter. I was like just thanking everyone for like the, the, the nice stream today. And uh, I, I, I signed it off with Jeremy Four Skulls. <laughs> uh, Lil, uh, Lilia's profile literally has GOG label saying that. Oh. Well, don't worry guys. I don't know what- how I'll do it, but don't you worry. I'll get partnered to GOG to get you all the best deals on- on- on the- on the- on the games. I'll get you all the best deals on, um... Doom? And, uh... Unreal Tournament? And, um... The Monkey Island games? I'll hook- I'll hook LeChuck up with, like, all the Monkey Island games. He'll thank me later. Cause he's already- he- I mean, he already owns the copies, I'm- I'm, I'm sure. You know? Make sure they port these games too. Oh, don't you worry. I'll be in that boardroom and then they'll be like, Okay, so what do we need to do to like uh, boost profits and stuff? And I'll say, Listen here, you bitches. I apologize. I didn't mean to call you all bitches, but... I think you're just missing a gold mine here. And by gold mine, I think I mean to say that... You really need to like... That doesn't... Oh. You need to, um... Get all the Discworld games into um, GOG and charge at least 20 bucks each because that's that's the best thing to do y you feel me and they'll say Jeremy four skulls and I'll say yeah and they'll say that's the most brilliant idea we've heard in our entire lives come here and give us a kiss and I'll say for sure but can I get that coupon code for all my amazing um, followers on Twitch and they'll be like yeah, you deserve it. And I'll be like, thank you very much. Swing and buy a 10% discount co co coupon code or whatever. And they'll be like, 10 10%? Uh, and I'll say, listen, I came up with this idea. So give me, give me the 10%. And they'll be like, all right, fair enough. We'll give you the 10%. And I'll say, thanks. I love you. I can't remember what to feed this stupid dragon. Now this is a real weapon. All it needs is some ammunition. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm drawing a blank, guys. That doesn't uh, nope. Uh-oh. I only remembered the hot coals and the uh, dynamite. Oh shit! Oh no! Thanks, two copies. Anytime, man. That's what I'm. That's what I'm all about. You guys deserve at least five copies of uh, Thimbleweed Park and um, uh, Monkey Island and um.
Star Wars um, Dark Jedi. Anything for you guys. That's what I'm here for. I can't remember what to feed this damn dragon. Now I'm drawing a blank. Alright, Taylor. Hey, Taylor, thanks for the, the luck, my man. And I hope you have a good day so far. Well, for the rest of it, anyways. Um... Shit. <laughs> oh, no. I'm drawing a blank. It's happening, everyone. I'm drawing a blank. It's gonna be the it's gonna be the love pie all over again. Oh shit. Nope. No, oh, I locked the door. I'm see again. I'm so angry. I'm like opening and closing the door. And I'm just slamming it in my own face, just to prove a point that I'm angry. Oh shit. Does anybody remember what I have to feed the dragon? It's not in the broken drum, is it? I'm pretty sure it isn't. No. No, no, no. I'm like right at the end of the game and I can't- Hey! Trico man, how you doing? Shit, man! How's- Hey, how, how you feeling? You feeling any better? I can't remember what to feed this stupid dragon. <laughs> Shit! I've done did it, guys. I've goofed up. I can't remember. My amazing prowess in Discworld. That I can't remember. Was it at the edge of the world? Probably not. No. Oh, no. Um... What do I feed the dragon? You don't feed him prunes, do you? <laughs> Would you like some prunes? No, he doesn't like prunes. Oh, no. It's not the... Do I feed him the lantern? <laughs> Why would you feed a dragon lantern? No. Uh oh. It's happened. It's happened. Screwdriver? No. Mustache? Truth potion. Carpet? The leash. The blindfold? No. Shit. Oh! I think I have to go here. It, it, it's it's coming to me now. I think I have to feed him it from the 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 pie tin thing. Weirdly, I'm still feeling sick, uh, to be honest, but not as sore from the move. So that's a bonus. Thanks for asking. How am I? I'm doing good. My back's a little sore actually. I I, I hurt I hurt it today I, I, after I streamed. I don't know what I did. Um, it's it it happens. It's it. I mean, it happens all the time. I, it, it flares up sometimes. But other than that, I'm doing pretty good, man. There we go. Okay, he's ready to go. He's locked and loaded. We gave him some love custard, and now he's ready to go. Alright, guys, this is it. The end of the game. I slammed the door just for good... Hey, let me do it again. One more time for good luck, though. There we go. Perfect. Oh, here we go. I'm glad that you're feeling a, just, uh, you know, still sick, but, you. you know, a little bit better. Can't you leave a monster in peace to eat? It's good to see you. Oh. Okay, here we go. Aha! Hasta la vista. I wish I could fix the sound for this game. Is that a swamp dragon in your hands? Or are you just pleased to see me? Uh, 
you started an hour ago or so. Already copy asked. What? Wait, what was this? Do I feel lucky? Well, do you dunk? Oh. <laughs> oh, God. There we go. Oh, wait, I have to be quick on this, don't I? Okay, hold on. Okay, now the dragon's a little bit... He's a little bit... He's a little horny. He's ready to rock and roll. Okay, now we grab this. Grab this. Wait for the dragon. Oh. There we go. Okay, now we throw the love custard at the dragon. Dragon gets a little love, cu love custard. And there we go, everyone. Love wins all wars. Remember that. Okay. As someone who didn't play this back in the day, what's wrong with the sound? A lot of things. Um, because I have to um, <clears throat> emulate, um, the... Uh, it doesn't work quite well with any of the software, at least that I couldn't get it to work properly. So anytime I mess with the sound files, it, this game just completely ignores it. Doesn't matter if, if I'm doing it through Scum, which I am, I can't override the game using the files. It just, everything's turned to the maximum, which is a problem. So that's the problem with this. And sometimes some of the sound effects don't pop in and out. Like that dragon was supposed to like make wolf howling sounds, but he didn't do anything. So it's a little buggy. But and you know what can you do, right? Unless unless GOG actually somehow sorts out the licensing of this and starts to sell it. Yeah. It's also supposed to go quicker than this. See, I have to click. Yeah. Anyone? There we go. Perfect. <laughs> we did it! The end! Perfection. Oh, look, see? Love conquers all, everyone. Remember that. He missed out. Poor Death. He missed out. He missed out on all the fun. <laughs> oh, bugger. Poor Death. Poor guy. There we go. <laughs> Discworld. Uh, my favorite game. That I just blasted through. <laughs> Not the best g uh, g uh, play of this game, I must admit. Uh, since I was basically able just to blitz through it. Like, no one's business, but it is what it is, right? Uh, I have my reasons for liking this game. It came across at just the right time in my childhood uh, to play this. Um, it was If it wasn't for a game, like, this is like one of the games. If it wasn't for this game, I probably wouldn't be here today, you know? This is supposed to make sounds as well, and it stopped for whatever reason, but there you go. Anyway, that's the game. That was Discworld. That was Discworld. That was Discworld. Do I have the second one in Gnaw? Uh, no. Sadly, I do not. I can get them, and I intend on doing so. Um, but I don't have them right now, sadly. But I will be getting them. I know where to get them. I just have to get them, and then try to get them to work. Apparently, the second one, and especially Noir are a kind of a bitch to get working for some reason and there are no helpful guides out there so I'll, I'll have to dick around like i did with this one when i first tried to get this one to work the sound didn't quite work it was like missing files it just wouldn't like 
I had to like mess around with all the, all the like sound bites and shit like that, but the background is perfect. Hell yeah. <laughs> Glad you like it. Um, so yeah, don't worry though, uh, Taylor, I'll, 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 I'll get it all working eventually. And, um, I, I will be playing it. That's my promise. Um, that's my promise. Everyone doesn't really like the third one, but I really enjoyed it. I liked like the, 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 like the, like the, the crime noir type deal. I, I kind of liked all of it. I liked how dark it became and stuff like that. It felt like the real Ankh Morpork. Do you know what I mean? Like the, it, like the type of place where if you walk down the street, somebody just might kill you. You know what I mean? That's, you know what I mean? It kind of really felt like dark and grimy and gloomy and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> there you go. Uh, unless we can browbeat Terry Patch's daughter for a remaster. That's still the plan. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Totally. 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 It's, it's, it's in the cards. I, I just got to like meet up with lunch for her and stuff like that and try to convince her. I'll work my charms on her. You know, I can do pretty good. Like, I'll just be like, hey. Kind of like stuff like that. And then she'll be like, oh my, who? I know exactly what you want. And I'll be like, oh yeah. And then she'll be like, meet me back at my house later on tonight. And I'll be like, yeah, let's go play those Discworld games. And she'll be like, what? And I'll be like, yeah. And she'll be like, no. No. I thought you wanted to like get married and like have kids. And I'm no, 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 please. We just need to work out the licensing for GOG to get this uh, game, all the games onto um, GOG. And she'd be like, oh, I thought you liked me. And I'll be like, oh, no, no. I mean, maybe. I don't know anything about her, but I don't know. Jeez. I'm not a ladies man, guys. I'm sorry. This, this, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Anyway. Um, now I've got to figure out what to play next. Uh, I had a few ideas of, of what I was going to, uh, play, but I'm not a hundred percent sure yet. Um, not a hundred percent sure. I think I, I, I could just play Skyrim. We could, we could start that puppy up again. Uh, or equally so we could play a little Orcs Must Die. We could pick up where I left off from, from today. Oh, we can play something else. Um, like I said, I had a few ideas, but we'll see what's what, yeah? We'll see what's what. Or we can all go our separate ways and everyone can go and, and enjoy their day and, you know, um, practice their sweet backflip moves and um, um, uh, all of that. I don't know. I don't know what you guys do uh, during the daytime. Orcs must die sounds nice. Yeah. Oh, God. Why is this game over here? That's not the right place. Uh, let me see what I got. Uh, no, these are all... I'm saving these for later. Um, yeah, these are all later games. Um, I got my plans for these. I got my mighty plans for these. Um... Can I get some pointers? Yeah, we could do that. I mean, we started it. We might as well finish it, right? Let me just shut this down. Uh, all right. Let me um. Let me do the usual uh, stream end, and then I'll come back. Let me just go grab like a drink of water and stuff like that, and uh, I'll come back, okay? But I'll end the stream here. Uh, I'll start it right back up, so anyone who's interested in Orcs Must Die, you're more than welcome to come back. If you're not, that's perfectly fine as well. I won't hold that towards you. Um, but we'll play some Orcs Must Die, and, uh, we'll, we'll see how far we can get. We're doing really well, actually, and I'm really enjoying it. So, if Orcs Must Die sounds good to you, you're more than welcome to come on back. If it doesn't, you're more than welcome to, uh, do, do, do whatever it is you, you do. You can go watch another streamer, or you can, um, practice, um, luck picking or whatever it is you guys like to do um or whatever but anyway i'll be back i'm gonna end the stream here i'll be back in like uh the stream will start back up like practically right away but 
uh, I'll, 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 I'll be inside. So give me like about, I don't know, five, five to seven minutes and I'll, I'll come back. Okay. And then we'll play Orcs Must Die. Uh, feel free to go and grab something to drink or eat or go take a shit or, um, take an anger piss if you need to, whatever you need to do, go do it now. Okay. And if, if I don't see you again, uh, thanks for, thanks for hanging out. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. Uh, we'll be playing some more games tomorrow. Um, I don't know what I'll be playing yet, but I'll be playing something. So feel free to come back. Uh, and if I don't see you then, I'll see you whenever I see you. Uh, thanks very much for tuning in. Uh, thank you, uh, Slurpees and stuff for the follow. And again, equally so, uh, Footbot, thank you very much for the, uh, the, the resubscribe, my man. That really means a lot to me. Uh, it really, really, really does. So thank you very much. Um, everyone, I'll see you back here in about five to seven minutes, okay? Sound good to everyone? I hope so. All right, I'll see you soon. Uh, I'll be back. We'll play Looks Must Die. All right, see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. I'll see you in like five to seven minutes. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying bye so much, but I'll see you, see you soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.